morning guys welcome back to the channel uh, today's video we're defrosting motors <laughs> got this uh, brand new puma to do scratch through there scratched into that bit and down underneath there just getting all the ice off of it all right let me get set up and uh, we'll crack on. See you in a moment.
really to rumble. Um, testing out some new discs, so I'm not happy with them. Um, I normally use the 3M prep pads, which are these blue ones here, near Pucker. So I've been testing out these Abronets. These are like very similar, a little bit thinner, um, but foam backed 800 grit. That was a brand new disc, uh, and I was prepping all the blend area with that, and it was useless. This was a used disc, and it absolutely smashed it. So they're very expensive, but they're worth their money. So I'm going to order some more of them, uh, and then I went over it with an Abrolon, which is pretty much a very similar thing, thousand grit with it uh, wet or damp. Uh, yeah, testing out a new. Um, blending technique today. Uh, I learnt it from the, I think it's called a Dutch car painter. I will, I'll tag him below uh, in the video. The way that he sets up these blending zones is different. So you have loads of tape, fold it over and then you can peel it back sort of thing. Um, and you blend away opposite from that. You don't let stuff drift up there as such, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I've given it a go uh, a few times now and it's worked out pretty decent. Uh, it looks a bit funky, but um, yeah, when I'm doing it, you'll see what I'm doing. Uh, it works well. So, yeah, let's crack on, get some colour on this thing. Some clear on this thing. Right, let's go, round two.
Here we have it guys, it's officially job jobbed. Uh, customers over the moon, looks really well. Uh, yeah, that blending technique is um, it's, it's really good. I, I had to polish a couple of them blends in because I was a bit gingerly with a fade out. Fade out can go one of two ways. It can go invisible and be beautiful, but it can also <laughs> run down the panel. I was a little bit um, gingerly with it. I should have, basically one more little dash over them two, it would have been invisible, it would have been fine. Um, but yeah, that's a great little technique with the tape there. Um, because when you do like tunnels and stuff, they flap about everywhere. And where that tape's rigid, it's really, really good. And by going the other way with your clear, just leaves a very fine bit um, of clear in there. Uh, it's a lot, I find it a lot better than the way that I used to do it. But got to do some more. Um, I've only done it a couple of times, so you have to get used to and familiar with how you know how you sort of go about it. But yeah, came out alright, the results are good, the colour was good. Magnetic grey can be a bit of a nightmare to be honest. But uh, yeah, colour went in good on that one. Um, yeah, that is it from me today. Um, yeah, things are going to be a little bit, what's the word, sporadic for the time being. Um, one of my daughters is really poorly. Um, I'm, I'm working as much as I can, um, but not getting a lot of sleep. And uh, yeah, not really, some, some days are really not in the mood for filming. And, uh, yeah, me nut is not in it. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not going to go saying I need to network with my daughter, but she's really poorly, and uh, we've got a lot of hot hospital appointments coming up. So uh, yeah, I'll try and get videos out as and when I can for you. Um, but yeah, today was in a good mood, and I thought, you know what, it's been ages. Let's make a little video. Um, uh, yeah, I'm sorry they're not coming thick and fast like they used to. But um, at the minute, I'm just trying to deal with personal things and uh, their life, really. It's, uh, it can be a right pain in the arse sometimes. Uh, it's really upsetting when it's your own family and children that have got problems. So, um, yeah, we'll get through it. So uh, yeah, that is it from me today. I don't wanna, uh, this is not a sympathy video. I'm just letting you know about the inconsistency in uploads. But uh, yeah, as always, a massive thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you very soon on the next one. Stay safe and be lucky.